always operating systems for you? No urge to make a living in job control language or anything like that? Well, what happened was, um, you know, I came back after doing this model, and this model was never really very satisfying because, you know, the people at Scott Paper, you know, sort of didn't really care. Right. Um, so anyway, I decided that I was going to go to work somewhere else. And my boss at... Um, in this math and stat group had left and went to Union Carbide. So I queried Mark Union Carbide about whether or not they might have a job for, you know, I could get a job. And I actually interviewed with them. And anyway, about the same time, I interviewed at the engineering department. They had a group there that was called the Real-Time Systems Group. And they built uh, some real-time systems for some of the operating plans. So I thought that was a pretty good job. And, but their offer came back. It was kind of weak, or I thought it was weak. And I accepted the job in Kokomo, only to find out about a week later that the job at the engineering department was paying much more than I thought it was. And so I sent all this stuff. They sent me tickets and everything. And I sent it all back and said, I'm not, we're going to, not taking your job. What a career decision that was. I would have ended up being a COBOL programmer, and I'd probably still been there in Kokomo. <laughs> yeah, probably. Um, so anyway, I went to the engineering department, this real-time systems group, and I can't remember exactly what any of the systems did, but anyway, they're on the computers were Bunker Ramo 340s. Hmm. The Bunker Ramo 340 was a 28-bit machine, interesting machine. The first thing I did there was they wanted to build um, automatic analysis of in Instron tensile testing. Instron is a machine that basically you pull things apart with. Okay. So we're going to automate all this. So I uh, basically wrote the program that did that. And, or well, I wrote the program that collected all the data. And it was a real time program and it ran. You know, I think we ran every millise or every 100 milliseconds or something like that to get data. 100 milliseconds was fine for this because you're pulling this apart at not anything that's a, a really rapid speed. Right. It's sort of like this. So again, I'm bored. I, there's nothing to do. You know, I get to a point where, well, it's the, I'm not bored because of the, the work stuff. I'm bored because this is an engineering services department and they have to wait until somebody says we want you to do something right the same 1107 was right down the the uh, hall from me they had a group of about three people that supported that um and so i went down and said hey uh, you guys need any help and they said yeah we can get you to do something so i started work on an exec two which was the 1107 operating system at that time, which was a batch system. Okay. Um, but it was fast. It was really fast. We could run batch systems faster than, I mean, really fast. And it was a fast machine. And then eventually it went to the 1108. So that's where I really got into the operating system part. And every night at, at 5 o'clock, we kick off the, the operators and we get the machine for two hours. So in those two hours, we had to run all the experiments we cooked up for the day, all our test code and whatever. Right. And um, debuggers, there's no debuggers. You know, there's like, there's switches on, there's lots of switches on the right. 1107. And, um, you know, there's a way we could halt instructions and things like that. So it was kind of, uh, it, was, it was very interesting. A lot of interesting concepts in that system um, that were, that I sort of carried forward in, in, um, VMS. Um, and so we end up with a dual PDP 10 system sharing memory. And we had a PD8 front, PDP eight front end for all of the terminal input In the dual PDP 10, we ran tops 10 on one of them. And then we ran another system that, that the group that I ran developed. So they share memory. But shared memory, yeah. Systems? yeah. Shared memory, we had, I think we had 32 K byte, K words, 32 K words of shared memory. And then I think each one of them had 16 K of non-shared memory. So we could dump data very fast between the two systems right. directly. And then we had, we had a, 
um, a dual interrupt system, or dual interrupt capability to interrupt back and forth. So from there I went to digital. And of course I went to digital to work on operating systems. So that's what I worked on at digital. Maybe you try it.